October, oh. and today we're going to be painting a scale quill. You're going to need watercolor paper and I cut mine to an 8 by 10 inch size. Paint brushes, a large flat paint brush, and a round paint brush. Watercolor paints, oil pastels or crayons, a jar of water, and paper towels. Once you have all those supplies, you're ready to begin. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your black pastel or your crayon and you're going to draw a half circle about right here and don't make it too big because we need room for the arms. Then you're going to draw two circles right here and right here and put a dot in the circle and a dot in the circle. Now we're going to make a triangle nose and a big smile <laughs> with little rounds on the end. It looks like there's like two frowny faces right here that aren't happy. This one's the biggest one that's happy. And then you're going to draw lines on the mouth like this. I this looks like God. stitches. Okay, then you're gonna make jaggedy like lines like this. Okay, but don't complete the top. Just make them pokey. <laughs> okay, and then for the hat, you're gonna make a line that's kind of rounded. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is in my heel. Okay, and then you're going to start right here where the hair is, right there, and you're gonna go up. See that? And you're not completely touching that. And you're going to go kind of down and then round back to this side. Okay. Then you're gonna draw a slanted line going up like that and then it comes down goes back up and slants back to this side alright and then a line that's kinda curved right there there you go okay now you're gonna draw a line right here not completely down at the bottom and it comes back across on the side and then you're going to draw a line that comes to there and a line to the same spot. Okay. And then a line that goes down. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just going to take a line that goes out like that and jaggedy, 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 jaggedy back. <laughs> As well as <with> five. <laughs> same thing on this side. Jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy back. Good. All right. Then you're just gonna draw round and round. I'm big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> and a line right here goes out like that. Two lines like this, like an X. A line down at the bottom of those, and then two lines on the side and a line in the middle. Perfect! Mine's flying. Then you're going to draw a slanted line like that and a slanted line like this. It's like a triangle right here basically. And then it goes back to this right there. To that, what would be a sh shoulder I guess. And then some circles Button, button, button. <laughs> yep. Can we it? Okay. Now we're going to draw the crow. 
And we're going to start with, let's see, the beak, which is rounded at the top and then points at the bottom. It's like an upside down triangle. Okay. A kind of curvy instead of pointy. Yep. Two giant eyes with the dots in the center. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to draw like a circle that goes around it, like this. Okay. Good. Three little things on the top. Okay. Right here, you're going to draw a like um, L shape. Right. And then you're going to draw another L shape. And then here you're going to go out and draw that those jaggedy lines again. And this one has a line out. Jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy in. Like that. And then you just draw two, two little lines. And you can put little lines on the bottom. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, then you're going to draw some ovals like this. Okay. What are these? It's corn with some lines and then some ovals on those. Look at this one. So then it's going to go white teal. Okay, and put some on the side. Pull it to top. Some more. Ah! Some on the side. You can make them put some on the right there. Okay. Then you can just put some pokies on the side of them. Like that. And that makes it look like corn. Okay. You can draw a circle. That's the moon. And you're done. So you're ready to start painting. All right, grab your wide brush, dip it in the water here. <laughs> okay, and you're going to get all this wet in the sky. Not on your scarecrow, not on your moon, just in the sky. Why? Because you're going to add blue to it, and it's just going to go where the water is, and it's going to make the sky look really cool. Don't forget this spot right in between the crow and the scarecrow. Obviously the scarecrow is not working because there's a crow right there. <laughs> so I, I like that. It makes it cute. Okay. And grab. Now you can make it whatever color you want and you add the color. See? Which one did you use this one? Yeah. And just do the same thing this time with paint. See how it spreads nicely? Just go around circles by taking your brush and going in a circle motion. And then where there's lines, if you don't want to go past those lines, you take the edge of your brush and you follow the line. This cool sky colors. Yeah. Mixing to this is so cool. The color. Look. Yeah. Let's move this up so they can see it. I need more water. This again. Make it be more watery and cool. Make, make sure yours is not blur. Blur? Because <laughs> sometimes it gets all oval, this <laughs> stuff. And I call that blur.
Now I want you to be creative and I want you to color your scarecrow however you wish. Use your round brush though because that gets smaller areas. I know it's fun that I want to do. Sunny days. I'm copying you. <laughs> Apparently. So that mine just did. This definitely looks like cake. Yeah. Come on, my cheeks are spreading. <laughs> so are mine. And you wipe them up and dab cheeks. So this I'm just, be just because I want to do it that way. And then get slide on my little Yeah. Yeah, I forgot this box. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What else can we do? And if you want to add plaid to it, you can add some lines. Okay. Don't forget to sign your work. And you're done! Who's open the skill quote? Go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you had fun and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for another spooky art project. Bye! Bye.